Good evening and welcome to Beyond Business at the Wharton School. My name is Dean Erica James and I have the pleasure of spending this evening with you and colleagues to talk about ESG. Beyond Business is an ongoing conversation that explores the most complex and pressing issues impacting individuals and organizations around the world. This year's three-part series shines a light on how firms are striving to contribute positively to the environment, address government discrepancies, and support social causes. There are three different topics in our series this year. The first one, tonight's topic, is tackling the climate crisis, which explores the role that environmental criteria should play in business decision making and what firms and policymakers can do to measure and deliver impact. Our next series is redefining corporate governance, which explores how boards can maximize a company's social impact while balancing the needs of its stakeholders and how data can be employed to help measure success. And our third series is Humanizing ESG, explores the business case for firms using their influence to impact social and political issues and how they can evaluate its role in being a force for change. I'm thrilled to introduce my guests this evening. Sarah Light is an Associate Professor of Legal Studies and Business Ethics at Wharton. Her research examines issues at the intersection of environmental law, corporate sustainability, and business innovation. Benjamin Keyes is also a Wharton Professor of Real Estate and Finance, who studies issues related to household finance, mortgage finance, and real estate. Including the, in, including the inefficiencies of the government's national flood insurance program and how real estate decisions are affected by environmental factors. David Swift is Chief Operating Officer of Engine Number no. One, an investment firm whose purpose is to create long-term value through active ownership. He has over 15 years of experience partnering with asset managers to help them evolve through strategic business development initiatives. So, Sarah, there are dire reports by the United Nations and others that there is a severe rise in severe weather events worldwide and that this rise in events have put climate change on everyone's radar screen. Whether we develop new governmental policies, work together to create new energy efficiency, te efficient technologies, or commit to reducing emissions through nature-based solutions, more and more people believe something needs to be done. But what, what is the role of business should, that business should play in this endeavor? So Sarah, starting with you, how do you see companies responding to the calls to address climate change? And is this response adequate? Thank you, Erica, so much for having all of us here this evening to discuss this incredibly important topic. Um, business firms are indeed responding to the call to address the climate crisis, and the responses have grown increasingly frequent and louder in the past months and weeks, particularly in the lead up to what is going to be the next conference of the parties under the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change in Glasgow starting at the end of this month. Overall, firms are generally doing uh, several things. Um, I think that they should be doing three things. So the first thing that firms frequently are, but certainly ought to be doing, is looking to manage and um, measure their own emissions from their on-site operations and their purchases of electricity. So how are, are we as a firm um, emitting uh, greenhouse gases during our production processes, during on-site activities, and could we purchase renewable energy in order to power our operations? The second thing that many firms are doing is actually looking beyond their on-site operations to their value chain. And this is something that if firms are not already doing, they should be doing actively. So um, this includes everything from upstream supply chain emissions. So for example, Walmart has um, adopted Project Gigaton to attempt to reduce uh, more than 1 billion uh, metric tons of greenhouse gases from their global value chain. Um, firms in the asset management uh, and lending spaces are seeking to reduce to net zero the uh, greenhouse gas emissions from their lending portfolios or their asset management portfolios. And these are really important concrete steps. And many firms are taking these steps 
under the auspices of some kind of third party certification organization like the science based targets initiative, which provides accountability and transparency. The third step. Um, arguably the most controversial is the one that not all firms have gotten there and I would want to encourage them to do this and that is to put their money where their mouth is when it comes to advocating for public policies that will support a transition to a net zero economy by 2050. 